Hey there, it's Rich with Rich Baum Photography for yet another video, and I'm bringing back by popular demand a subject that is always popular the uh, window pull in darkened mode that was made famous to me by several people, but I think it all comes back to Wayne Capelli. Thank you, Wayne. Credit where credit is due. Anyway, we all struggle with windows. And God knows I had a window here. Uh, excuse me, we're, we're going to really um, show you how easy it is when it's done right, done properly. And um, this was a really tough shoot for several reasons. One is it's a 30, 40 foot ceiling. Two is a massive wall of windows. And three is it's all wood. So... We had our challenges here to do, uh, what do I say we? It sounds like the agent was helping me. Uh, but uh, it was my job and my shoot, and I take full credit. But uh, I'm going to show you how I got this window and how I did the exposure for uh, darken mode. And it worked great here, I'll tell you. It really is a textbook textbook um, example of how to use darken mode. So the only thing we're missing here, though, is you're going to see it. If there was something like a, um, a plant in front of the window, it might show you even better. But we've got little things in front of the window right here, a TV, and, and yeah, that's about it. But uh, I'll show you how easy it is to do. So this is the final image. Let's just look at this. Sorry. Um, so we have here, I am up on the second story. There happened to be, and thank goodness there was a second story, a uh, little walkway where I could put my camera on the railing and get here. And uh, I was able to get a pretty decent shot. And this is the selling point. And uh, the windows, I guess, could be a little better. It's a little funky out there, but I'm pretty happy with it overall. And I think most people would be. Um, I'm going to make it hopefully even better. But uh, let's just see how we deal with this. So let's go back out of here and let's just go the shots I'm going to need. Now you look here. When I say sometimes I take a lot of exposures, I do a lot. First of all, I started here trying this composition and I didn't like it. So I decided to move my composition up and I angled my camera down like a fake tilt shift. But I couldn't use a tilt shift because I needed um, to get this correct at... Uh, at the millimeters I had, I couldn't shoot it at 24 millimeters. So I shot this at um, the equivalent of 18th full frame. This is my Sony a6000. And the first shot I used is an ambient shot. And I'm not even sure I'm going to use it here. You can see we've got a lot of window bloom, but that's okay because we're not going to use that part. We're going to use this shot. And the next shot we're going to use is this shot. And this shot is going to be the... Um, flash shot that I've got. And I think I probably just put camera left and camera right. I took a uh, an end flash camera left. Oh, you can see it right here. That's my, um, that's my umbrella right there. So I've got a big end flash, I think, camera left. And uh, I think I have my Streaklight 360 camera right. And one of them is maybe bouncing off the ceiling, but I probably would have put two two flashes pointing in towards this window with shoot through umbrellas from the second story landing. So uh, that landing really helped. You can't see the landing. It's up about this high, but I'm standing on the landing. Anyway, so we've got a good exposure. Hold on, let me go back into straight out of camera. There's the shot straight out of camera. So it's a quite a bit underexposed. So I am going to now have a star by there. The next shot now is the window shot if for darken mode. And this is going to work really effectively because we can see here that it's going to be everything we don't want to mask in here is going to end up being much brighter than right here. But the view is darker. So we're going to get that view and we're going to use the uh, flash shot for um, the rest of the room. Once I add my special bump, you'll see and add a little exposure. Okay, now we have this flash shot and the only problem is we can't use the window here. So what I have here is the third 
shot which we will use for the window here and you'll see how we do it so this is all overexposed so I did two shots for the window both overexposing the frame but the view is just great so let's without further ado all I need to do is use this flash shot and my ambient shot so let's start with the ambient shot I'm going to I've got the highlights brought down and this is um, going to be for my ambient shot. I'm not even sure how much I'm going to use of this. So now let's go into my flash shot and I'm going to use my full bump. Good. And I'm going to bring up the exposure. Now look at the histograms a little low here. I'm going to bring it up about a stop. Actually, I'm going to bring it up to right there. Okay. Now the only thing I might use in the ambient is I may use this part for this ambient shot. Let's bring this up. I'm actually going to add a little bit of dehaze. Actually, I've got 20% dehaze, which actually helps on shots when you're dealing with the window bloom. So we're going to use the flash here. We're going to use the ambient here to get rid of these shines right here and here. And that will mask in nicely, I think. Let's highlight both of those. Let's see, go back and forth. Yeah, I think that'll work. This will just take down this specular highlights here, okay? But we have a pretty good shot here. Um, you know, I'm okay with it. Then let's go to this window shot and let's just do a full bump. Hey, bump here. Actually, it was done. On, no, we didn't. Here it goes. Okay, so I'm doing this for the view outside. I like the view here. Okay, good. And we're going to use this one again just for this right window. So let's do the full bump here. Okay, I hope you're all following along. I know this uh, this can get a little complicating. So let's look at these two window shots. I've got everything I can use here and I've got this one I can use for here. Okay, so let's highlight all four of those. Let's do the flash shot two window shots and the ambient shot. Okay, and let's go right click, edit in as layers in Photoshop. So I'm calling this the mother of all windows, not because it's the hardest, but it certainly is the biggest I've done in a while. Although sometimes I will do a wall of windows much longer than this, and I will have to do three, four, five uh, pops just for the windows. So again, I'm pointing my my umbrella is straight at the window and between two of them I should get a shot that I can use for both sides of this window so I'm gonna take a little sip of water mm. and to say that you know I really appreciate everybody subscribing um, I've got a link in all my videos now that if you're gonna be buying some stuff from Adorama um, I'm not really tied in with Adorama but I am an affiliate now so I get a little kickback um, if you buy something. So use the link in this video. Click on the link and then do your shopping there. I get a little percentage of that and uh, that'll help me with all these free videos that I spend hours and hours and hours on. Okay, so we've got our ambient shot here. So let's put it second in line. Then we have our flash shot. Let's put that at the bottom. Okay. And I could name these. If you get too many layers, you should name your layers so you don't get complicated. And I'm going to turn off. I'm going to leave these now. I'm going to highlight everything. Just make sure that all my, my layers are in line. So I'm going to go up here, highlight everything, go up here and do uh, boop, 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 boop. align, auto align layers. Okay. So I'm going to see here. I use a big, big Manfrotto tripod, which I usually don't have to align layers. But every so often I get bones, so it's a good practice to do. So let's see if we get any uh, misalignment here. And as we know, we can tell misalignment by a banding around the outside. I don't think I have any here. Okay, so let's turn off this layer. Actually, I'm going to put this one one down. Oops, let's just highlight that. I'm going to bring this down one because, oops, what's going on? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Put that above. Let's put this one above too. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, I've got my ambient layer on the second to bottom and my flash layer on the bottom. 
So I'm going to turn off these two layers on top because all I want to do is have my ambient layer on the top and my flash layer on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to highlight my ambient layer and I'm going to make a new layer mask. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mask in this amp. This flash shot is pretty good for what I need it for. To be honest with you. So let's zoom in a little bit. And what I want to use this ambient for is just I've got to go down to paint, paintbrush, soft paintbrush, 21%, and I want to go into flow. Let's do uh, let's do 8% flow. Okay. So now I'm going to do make it as big as the beam right here and just do manual and I'm taking out those highlights of these beams there we go not a lot just a little bit take the take the curse off curse that when I was in the movie industry if we get a shine we called that a curse anyway let's take it off there and I don't really need to use much of it. And I can roll over the windows here. Actually, I'm getting a little bit of that uh, bloom. So I'm going to go hit X and erase that right there. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out. Let's go and erase. I'm going to go back into hit X for paint. I'm back here for white. Again, if you hit X back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So let's do white for painting in. And let's paint out. Let's paint in the ambient and paint out those highlights. Okay, there we go. And actually, that's kind of nice up there. It's adding a nice little touch. Whoops. Okay, let's just do that again. Okay, let's get rid of this ambient in there. Good. Okay, now let's bring it down here. Okay, let's see if the ambient's going to help down here at all. Yeah, a little bit. Don't need much, though. I think the flash shot was pretty nice. You know what? I didn't like what I just did. Actually, I don't like that blue down there, but, uh, you know, it's okay. This video's about the window, so I'm going to do just a little more of that ambient in here. There we go. So we use the ambient to get rid of the um, big flash reflections in the wood. Ambient is really good to help you with reflections in wood. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that now. Whoops, let's go bring this back here. Okay, so let's now highlight the first window. You know what? That is not the window I want. I want this window. I'm going to bring this down here. Turn that off. I'm going to turn on this one. Because I want to do, this is my main window. And what I'm going to do is click a new layer mask. Okay, there we go. Hope you're following. Now, what I want to do is increase it to 100%. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to 80. No, I'm going to go to 100. Okay, let's try 100. I tend to do my darkened window pulls because I can do 100% there. So let's move this from normal to darken. Okay, and look at this. All we have to do is boop, 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 boop. Okay, nice, huh? <laughs> and let's go down here, and I'm going to make this a little smaller down here because I'm not going to use the whole amount of this window replacement. That's kind of dark. So actually, you know what? I'm going to do the whole thing, and then I'm just going to erase it. But you see, we didn't have to do any masking of the window because we're in darkened mode and the frame of the window was brighter. So we have that and we're still got a little bit of work to do, but let's start by, I want to get back to where we were before. So I'm going to hit X and watch this. It's going to turn to black. So I'm going to erase. I'm going to bring it down to 8% flow. And I'm just going to erase away all that I just did. Okay? Because I don't like the darkness of the deck. I like the, the way the deck was exposed. I don't like the way the deck was exposed for darkened mode. Okay? So there we have it. 
I've got that really looking good. And now I can even see, I don't know if this is going to be something I can do, but let's go up in here. Let's make this smaller and just erase here. There we go. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's see here. I got a little bit of the, actually the lights inside are causing a shadow outside, which is darker. So that is not working in darken mode, picking up that shadow. Okay. But you can spend as much or as little time as you want on this. Screw around. Just enjoy your day. Do what you want to do. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of, I'm going to even go down to lower flow. I'm going to go to 6% here. I just want to lighten this up a little bit. And the way to lighten it is to erase back just a little bit here. There we go. See? Okay. Now, we still have one more problem to do. Oops, there we go. Okay, let's um, show this layer here. Okay, and we're going to highlight the layer and we're just going to make a layer mask because all we're going to use is this right window pane to fix, to fix right here and right here. So I'm going back into darken mode. Okay, I'm going into white to paint. So I'm hitting X to turn it to white and I'm going to, let's go to 80%. Okay, let's just bring it up here, 90%, okay? So let's get into painting this. There we go. Beautiful. One right here. And there we go. Done deal. Okay, so let's look at that, baby. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, I'm going to bring it back into... Lightroom, save it with S and W while hitting Command. And we have to fix our perspectives. I could have probably stayed in Photoshop and fixed my perspectives, but I don't do it a lot in Photoshop. And I'm, I'm good at certain things, but other things I'm not good at. So perspective in Photoshop, I'm not as good with. Okay, so let's now try auto because auto is the easiest. And we've got these, let's put up our grid lines. So I'm holding down op, uh, Option and Command and O. So let's look at this. I'm holding Command and it will move this. So we got big issue with verticals here. You can see I'm pointing down. So it is causing a converging at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to hit uh, uh, Option, Command and O again and erasing my grid lines. So I'm just going to try auto upright. One, two, three. Well, it didn't do a great job, so I'm going to go backwards. Okay, so let's just see if we can fix this. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to hit, and so you guys can see it. I want to get rid of this so I can just constrain crop. One, two, three, constrain crop. And you know what? This looks pretty good. I'm going to add in a um, little bit of, let's try the highlights down. And eh, the highlights look good. You can play with your final image. Blacks down a little bit. I want to do, uh, I don't need any more vibration, vibrance, vibration. Okay, a little more there. There we go. And I just love it. So I hope this has shown you how to deal with a monstrous situation, which really isn't that difficult. I look like I have a little barrel distortion there, but anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. The client's happy with it. And let's look at the photo I delivered months ago and compare the two. Here's what I delivered. So let's um, see, this is the one I just did. Let's look here. Yeah, about the same. I like the one I just did better. Anyway, okay, so this is Rich with Richbound Photography saying darken mode. Now, a lot of people are learning darken mode first because it's such a great trick. I want everybody, especially that are new to masking in, to really spend time on how to mask in for reflections, how to get rid of shine, get rid of glare, how to make the ambient do the heavy lifting. I've got all these tutorials on 
and they're really, really important. And windows are important too because we all want to do them. But I really want people, to, I want to impress that people get the basics down. So anyway, this is Rich with Rich Bound Photography saying, signing off, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.